All right, so here we want to simplify root 160, or the square root of 160. Um, and the clue is you want to find perfect square factors, all right? And you, you want to find the biggest perfect square factor, but if you find any perfect square factor, that's definitely a start. So what we can do definitely is hopefully recognize that uh, if we break this down into factors, we could do off to the side 80 times 2, but neither one of those is a perfect square factor. So I don't want to do that, all right? I could do 40 and 4. 40 is not perfect, but 4 is. Okay, so I could do 40 and 4. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I can break this down into root 40 and root 4. Now, the reason I want to do this, as the um, multiplication property of square root says, is if I multiply these two radicands together, 40 and 4, I get 160. I'm allowed to break them apart as well. So now what happens, root 4 is actually equal to 2. So I can just replace that with 2. No more radical. Root 40 is root 40. So I could write this as 2 root 40. All right, the um, coefficient is going to be the, the whole number. But now I have to, con I kind of have to look, can 40 be broken down into any perfect square factors? Well, I know for a fact that 4 goes into 40. And we just said 4 was a perfect square. So 4 times what gives me 40? 10. i got to break it down again. There's more I can be broken down. All right. So now, as we said, root 4 is 2. I already had this 2 from before. Now I have another 2 from this root 4. And I have this root 10. Because I have two different root 2, I'm sorry, two different 2s out in front. They're multiplying together. This gives me for root 10. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you a little bit shorter of a way to get this.